derivation for electric field intensity due to infinite line charge in the last session and uh, formula was turned out to be E vector is equal to rho L divided by 2 pi epsilon naught rho please remember it was rho and it was radius okay uh, radius in the cylindrical coordinate instead of R we call it as rho a rho cap is nothing but a r cap both are one and the same please remember don't get confused a r become a rho both are same because in cylindrical coordinate it was identified as rho instead of r okay uh, with this formula we will like to do one problem okay an infinite line charge please make a note of that an infinite line charge of 40 nano coulomb per meter the moment you see this particular unit coulomb per meter per meter then it is rho l okay it's understood an infinite line charge of 40 nano coulomb per meter lies along y axis okay please make a note i along y axis find electric field intensity at 2 comma 3 comma minus 2 2 comma 3 comma minus 2 in free space okay this is the problem i just make it not along the y axis so i would like to always make my simple reference according to my diagram that is this is y axis okay and let us say this is x and this perpendicular to the road is nothing but x sorry uh, z so according to my convenience So where is your uh, infinite line charge? The infinite line charge is along the y axis, okay, which means there is a line charge density which is going along the y axis whose rho L equal to 40 nano coulomb per meter. Why it was rho L because of line charge density. Find the electric field intensity at x axis 2, y axis 3 z axis minus 2 so it should go behind the board so let us make it like this 2 comma 3 comma minus 2 in this particular place place now what is the electric field intensity due to these 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 are everywhere okay due to everywhere infinite line charge the whole thing is attacking point so what is the procedure to calculate so let us do this particular calculation before starting this particular derivation, you should know always A rho cap. The A rho cap, how you should do? Uh, I am going to give you some option. What is the distance between this point P and infinite line charge? People may think it is from the origin, or it is from minus infinity, or it is plus infinity, or it is the shortest distance. It should be the shortest distance. If I ask you, what is the distance between myself and this board means? I should not calculate myself this particular position to that corner. I should not calculate with respect to origin. Origin can be anywhere. What is the distance between me and the board? Shortest distance. Okay, you say it's one feet. That should be the actual case. You should not even calculate this point or this point. The shortest distance. So if that is the case, this should be that particular point. So that you just take this reference. Okay, the shortest distance. If that is the case, it is which axis? Y axis. And you should know X, Y, Z. In Y axis, in Y axis, other values are 0. Am I right? So it should be 0, comma, Y, comma, 0. And if it is shortest distance, this calculation is the really critical. Okay, please slightly listen. It's understood. In Y axis, other values are 0. So X value is 0, Z value is 0. First point. What is the Y value? Y value is 0 here, Y value is 5 here, 10 here, 25 here, minus 25, minus 35. What should be the Y value you should take? If it is shortest distance, what is here Y value? The same should be here. Then only it will be shortest. So obviously it should be 3. Okay, because the Y value is 3, so it should be 3. If that is the case, A to B means B minus A. What should be the A row cap? Please tell me. A to B, B minus A. 2 minus 0, which is 2. And it's x, y, z, okay, a, x cap, a, x cap, 3 minus 3 is 0, plus 0, a, y cap, 
3 minus 3 is 0. Next, plus minus 2 minus 0 az cap divided by root of 2 square plus 2 square. So the result will be 2ax cap minus 2az cap divided by 2 square is 4 plus 4 8 root of 8 is nothing but a rho cap. Okay. We are ready with the unit. Now let us try to substitute here. What is your rho L? Rho L is nothing but 40 nano coulomb. Nano is 10 power minus 9 divided by 2 pi epsilon naught value you should know. And what is your A rho cap into 2 AX cap minus 2 AZ cap divided by root 8. Okay. And this is rho distance R. This is R square so far. But here it is not R square, it is just R. So it is also root 8. That's all. Okay. So I just substituted first point. There is no difference between R and rho. Please try to remember. First point, there is no difference between R and rho. Second point, so far it was R square, but here it is R. That's what the meaning. Okay. You try to calculate the whole value okay. and then multiply by 2 and then multiply by minus 2. The result will be electric field intensity is 180 AX cap minus 180 AZ cap. And the unit of electric field intensity you should know over to per meter. So this is the simplest concept to do this problem. You know unit vector calculation, you know the substitutions. Only thing is whenever you have an infinite line, try to take the shortest distance. Make a note of that. Let us do another problem. Find electric field intensity at minus 2 comma minus 1 comma 4 meters. Find the electric field density at minus 2 comma minus 1 comma 4 due to line charge density 20 nano coulomb per meter 20 nano coulomb per meter by a uniform line described by x is equal to 2 meter comma y is equal to minus 4 meter described by x is equal to 2 meter comma y is equal to 4 meter okay. so if I define the axis let us assume this is x let us assume this is y and the perpendicular to the board okay, is nothing but let us say z now let us try to uh, identify that infinite line charge it was described by x is equal to 2 okay so somewhere x is equal to 2 okay. in this place y is equal to 4 is this side minus 4 is this side okay. it is a straight line where z is not mentioned which means z is going to change so your infinite line charge is uh, something like this which is parallel to this z axis okay please try to remember it is parallel to this particular z axis now this is straight line is an infinite straight line whose uh, rho l okay equal to 20 nano coulomb per meter it's understood everywhere in the straight line it is x value is 2 fixed y value is minus 4 fixed z value we don't know okay please try to remember z value we don't know because z value is 0 z value is minus 20 minus 30 minus 40 uh, 2 3 5 like this okay that is the straight line 2 comma minus 4 comma z now where we should find electric field intensity in x axis minus 2 down y axis minus 1 this side z axis 4 okay i can say this particular point where it is minus 2 comma minus 1 comma 4 then as usual you should know the shortest distance so this should be the shortest point and already i know this is not the axis this is 2 comma minus 4 comma z so this point has to be 2 comma minus 4 no doubt and what should be the z value what is z value here the same should be here so it is 
to treat to uh, heat compresses. The point what we should calculate and the point what we are going to find. And I am repeating, this point is mentioned as minus 2 comma minus 1 comma 4. This point is everywhere I know 2 comma minus 4. In z axis it will be 0, minus 1, minus 2, 1, 2, 3. If it is shortest it should be 4. Now this is the E. Am I right? Now with this technique we will illustrate to find what is A rho cap. Okay, what is A rho cap? A to B means B minus A. So minus 2 of minus 2. Minus 2 of minus 2. AX cap. Next. Plus minus 1 of minus of minus it will be plus 4 a y cap next 4 minus 4 0 divided by a root of minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 the whole square plus 4 minus 1 is 3 square so if you calculate minus 2 minus minus 4 a x cap uh, plus 3 a y cap divided by 4 square is 16 uh, plus 9 4 square is 16 plus 9 is nothing but 25 is root of 25 uh, is the a rho cap now let us take the substitute here so your e value will be rho a is nothing but 20 nano into 10 power minus 9 divided by uh, 2 pi epsilon r rho we will keep it pending into minus 4 a x cap plus 3 a y cap divided by uh, root of 25 is nothing but 5 that you do it this is rho this is also rho root of 25 is nothing but 5 that you can calculate it later now you just do the whole calculation and then multiply by minus 4 then multiply by minus 3 you will get the result okay please try to do that it will be minus 57.6 a x cap plus 43.2 a y cap volt per meter okay try to make a note of that it was the one more uh, simple problem but careful uh, the previous problem i take was um, along the axis now it is parallel to that so it's a left case please make a note of that we'll do another problem find electric field intensity e at 3 comma 2 comma minus 6 meters okay, 3 comma 2 comma minus 6 meters in free space due to 30 nano coulomb per meter 30 nano coulomb per meter infinite line charge along z axis and the uh, kind of question is continuing and 25 micro coulomb charge at origin okay so this is the uh, basic question so what is the infinite line charge along z axis okay that you should make it anywhere you can do it so let us say this is z axis and you say please this is uh, y axis it's left here but make sure that the axis should be along the board whichever the axis you feel either here or here don't bring it here and this is let us say x axis and where is your 30 nano coulomb it is along z axis so let us say there is an infinite line charge whose value rho l equal to 30 nano coulomb per meter this is the first One more, 30 nano coulomb per is along z axis. One more is 25 micro coulomb is at the origin. Okay, that is one more charge. 25 micro coulomb is at the origin. Okay, 25 micro coulomb. Coulomb means single, not coulomb per meter, just a single charge at origin. Origin means 0, 0, 0. Okay, that you should. Now, what is the question? There are two effects, one is infinite line charge one, another one is a single point charge. Find electric field intensity at x axis 3, y axis 2, z axis minus 6, okay, somewhere here. 
थ्री कमा टू कमा माइनस सिक्स दिस पॉइंट वॉट इज दिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी ड्यू टू दिस चार्ज एज वेल एज दिस टू इनफेक्ट so i can say there is one electric field intensity e let us say it is due to point charge p and one more electric field this is due to this point charge and one more electric field this is due to infinite length charge and if you want to take it should be a shortest point which you should know and please do remember due to this there is one more we call it as e e a l stands for line charge p stands for point charge you try to do what is the total electric field is nothing but e p plus e l Okay, that's all. this point uh, we discussed in the previous problem. This we discussed in the few sessions before. So to individually you do it and try to add. So you should know line charge is nothing but uh, rho l divided by two pi epsilon naught rho a rho cap. Point charge is nothing but q divided by four pi epsilon naught r square a r cap. So if you want to do this a r cap, try to do a to b b minus a with respect to r g. Do the calculation. Q is nothing but 25 micro coulomb fixed. Then if you want to do this, you should know a r cap. A r cap is the shortest distance. It is which axis? Z axis. In Z axis, other values are zero, and Z value is the shortest, so it should be minus six. I uh, calculate a r cap like this and try to solve. And if you do this put together, and the final answer if you club. Uh, e P you calculate separately, E L you calculate separately, and try to uh, compare with my answer. It will be two point zero nine A X cap plus one point three nine A Y cap plus three point nine three five A Z cap kilo volt per meter. This answer you should get. It is by addition of uh, E P and E L. Okay, try to do it this particular. Uh, answer. With this, I would like to conclude this problem session on infinite light charge. Thank you.